Hey guys, welcome back to Angels of Death, and we are on episode 4. Now, last we left off, we were in our lovely little hallucinatory trance, thanks to Father Grey. Um, but we broke out of it, and I think, I think we stabbed him with that knife, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we are no longer under his smelly smell that smells smelly. But anyway, let's continue. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, Zack is fine. Well, semi-fine. Oh, we're, we went to, we're on B1 now. Angels of Death, episode four. I don't really know, like, uh, what's in store for us. Wait, Zack. Don't go that way. <sighs> Why not? Ah! Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that's right. We got off the elevator. She, we, before we got off the elevator, when Zack got off the elevator, we were saying how we couldn't tell Zack the truth anymore about our past. Think. Think. Hey, Ray, what are you doing? Ah. Does she have a bandage on her leg? <clears throat> this place totally looks like the inside of a house. What's going on? I don't know. <clears throat> Is it just me? I feel like like instead of just a ho oh, we're Zach. Instead of just a house, it's like a dollhouse. Ooh, let's save real quick. I want to talk to Ray. See what she says. Hey, what's wrong? You don't look so hot. You worn out? That's it. The light, it won't come on. Oh, shit. Let's, uh... It's locked. Not only that, the door's oddly sturdy looking, too. Okay, nothing here. Oh, the flowers are on the floor. TV does- that's a TV? Okay. Hmm, nothing out of the ordinary. Is there another door? Ain't nothing. Oh, a flower. That's it. A moon? Hey, isn't this still the basement? <gasps> ah, it's a fake one that's glowing. Okay, okay. Cat's out of the bag. Ooh, what's this? What's with this dinky book? You... Well, I can't read it, so I guess it doesn't matter anyway. You're not gonna question the blood stain on the floor? Okay. Dot, 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 dot. It's all s sewed together. Not sewn, sewed. Huh? Its arms are stuffed, the mouths and body are stuck together. Is this some kind of doll? Zack. Her footsteps are heavy. Stop it, Zack. Anything could happen here, so don't go around just blindly touching stuff. Huh? Zack. Stop it, Zack. You've been acting all weird lately. What are you losing your shit over this kind of stuff now for? <gasps> <gasps> what happened? <laughs> God, what the hell? It's a stiff, stiff what? Fucking gross. Zack, hey! Please. Oh, please. I beg of you, hurry up and kill me. Hey, where the hell did that come from? Please, hurry. What are you blabbing about? Why the hell would I kill you here? We're not even outside yet. 
necklace? That's not the look I want to see on your face when I do it. But... This book... I, uh... I remember. It's a Bible. God hates liars and the impure. Ha! Ha! Please, Zack! Hurry and kill me before you know too much! Please! Wow, she just ratted herself out. As I am now, kill me. Please. If you are my god, you're, you're getting something wrong. He's not your god. Hey! Stop screwing around and get a hold of yourself! Oh, he just discarded the bodies. What the hell? Why'd she go and collapse on me all of a sudden? Maybe she's exhausted. Don't blame her. And she's been acting so weird and panicky. Damn it. Damn it! She just now gets a despair filled look on her face. Ugh. It's no fun with her making that face at me now. My god, huh? So she's talking about me? Ugh. What's going on here? The whole thing sickens me. But this was our memory, yet. Yeah. Huh, what's this? Did it fall out of Ray's bag? You can't read. Ugh, I can't read it. Hey, there are photos on them. Which means this is mine and the other is Ray's. These numbers do make sense, though. But still, damn, we're making annoying faces. What's that sound? Oh, there's a trap door underneath the rug. Uh. Come to think of it, I never did find out where that bastard Danny ran off to. <laughs> oh! Shit. That sound, it's coming from where I came in. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 not inventory. Coming from outside here. What is that? Huh? Hey, so this toy is what was making that sound. <laughs> he do He just broke it. Damn it! Misleading me with the door. The door's gonna lock when I'm all on edge. Yeah, it worked. I'm rid of him. <clears throat> Now, now, don't you know that breaking stuff is the answer for everything? Tsk, tsk. Zach, don't hit the door so hard. Tired Ray will wake up from her nap. Danny, you bastard! Too bad. He won't budge even with your string. It looks like the doors on this floor are quite sturdy indeed. Hey, what the hell is this all about? Open the door, Danny! Yes, Zack. I could open it, but now is not the time. Isn't that right, Rachel? Oh, I do hope she opens her peepers soon. Hey, if you touch a hair on her head, you're dead! No need for the attitude, Zack. I won't harm her. But now I have a full deck. Rachel's safety and how to find the way out of this building. What? Now use that worthless brain of yours to comprehend what I'm about to say, you illiterate fool. I mean to give you some clues and extend a helping hand. You stood complacently by her side, oblivious. Worst of all, she refers to you as her god. Can you believe that ridiculousness? And you aren't even opposed to the idea. Fucker! Rambling and talk like normal so I can understand! And now go on and learn about her. This floor is the very essence of her. I'll let you decide then what's truly best for her. Depending on your choice, I'll get you out of here. Sans Rachel, that is. AKA without her. 
kind of half-assed explanation is that? Hey, wake up, Ray. She slumbers, honey, such lovely jewels. Until you know her, she shall remain this way. Hey! Cut the bullshit! Shit! Know her? She must be hiding a hell of a secret then. Something about God and some other stuff. Nah! No use thinking about it. Maybe something will turn up if I tear the whole place apart. Anyway, I'll have to get there by going around from here. Uh, at the, I'll be right back. You won't notice, but I'll be back. Okay, so we... Re... Huh? What? Ah! Oh, what the? What was that just now? Gotta dodge him or I'm shish kebab. Uh, okay, okay. I know what I just said. I... What happened? Ah, shit. What is this place? What's going on here? This place has cheap, instant death written all over it. Ah, oh, shit. What a pain in the ass. So we didn't- we didn't die. Okay. I like this isn't a real floor. Is that weird? Oh, what do we have here? Looks like a whiteboard. There's some sort of writing on it. Sure wish I could read. Guess I'll pick it up for the hell of it. <laughs> Acquired white plate. With words apparently on it. What is that? What is on the floor? What is this? Is that like a... Oh, the stairs. Okay. Giant as bloodstain. <laughs> Looks like a Domino's pizza box. <laughs> What's the pizza doing here? I was right about the pizza. <laughs> Can I eat it? Yeah, sure. Uh, hold on. Who the hell's eating a pizza like this? Well, I can't really talk since I'm starving too. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna eat it. <laughs> We're gonna save. Hot! What do you mean, hot? <coughs> what happened? What are you doing? That was wholly unnecessary. Motherfucking hot fuck on a fucking plate! What sort of sick, twisted trap is this shit? What is that on the floor? A window? Huh? What is it? A door? Is there a basement or something? Won't freaking budge. And it won't break. I can push, pull, hit, or kick it all I want, but it won't get at me anywhere. Okay, so there was a mechanism. It's locked? Gotta search for a key. What a pain in the ass. Okay, well, never mind. This is a key. It's not even cold. Nothing here. There's no running water. Ain't nothing. Let me know mood to light it. What is it? A stove? Ain't nothing. Oops, wrong button. Crap, I broke him. What'd you break? At some point, it's not just a one that you broke. Is this a room? Okay, hold on. There's blood going this way too, it won't budge. Plus it's hot as a rock, or the doors here are made of metal or something. Oh wait, I think that's the door that led to the room that Rachel is in. Is this a washer? How'd she open it? The water's coming out. Nothing. Looking at the mirror won't help. Ain't nothing to see but me. Ooh, the tub's filled with water. 
There's a bathtub full of water, but it's all murky. Ew. Unplug it. Okay. Not even a drop comes out when I turn the, on the tab. Ew, what is this? Hey, if there's something inside. Is there a prize? Oh man. Stick your hand in. Ugh. Shit. <laughs> Gross! <laughs> A quiet key. Gross. You're kidding me. A key? What kind of dipshit would put a key somewhere like this? Your typical RPG. <laughs> My hands. I gotta wash them. Okay, so now we use the bathtub. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like the water's been shut off, and the only water is what's here, huh? It's dirty, but better than washing them in the shittier. The shitter. Instead of washing them in the shitter. <laughs> huh? Ghost pulls him in. Ah! What? Ow! Someone bit me. The hell was it? Did he just stick his face in? What's this? <gasps> fish? Come on now. Oh, um. Piranhas. What well, tiny fish? They sure got some razor sharp teeth. That attitude. Looks like these little fishies doesn't know the place on the food chain. Do I look like food? Now look at my hands. They're dripping with blood. Well, I guess blood's an improvement over that other shit. Man, these fish sure got some ha hateful looking faces. Well, yeah, you just murdered them. Okay. So we have a key. Is the key for this door? Can I open the door with the key I found earlier in the bathroom? Use key. No. I'd rather not touch this key, but it looks like I got no other option. It worked. It opened. It leads downstairs, huh? Wait, wait, hold on. I didn't. I didn't actually like check upstairs. Huh? Ah. Man, the floor here squeaks like crazy. Uh, what? The study door is locked and also has no doorknob. Some sort of post used for hanging objects protrudes from the center of the door. What? How the hell does this thing open? Would it be the plate? Can't use this here. Ah! A pit trap. Damn, that hurt. Did I die? Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> okay, so... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. I I have to test it just to see that like he has he says it. Okay. Save. Nope, that's where I died last time. <laughs> okay. 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 So sort of post used for hanging objects but used to the center of the door. Can I use this now? Can't use this here. Okay. <sighs> let's uh let's go back down. Let's just go here. <coughs> here we go with another weird place. How now it's a basement. Everything's so damn complex. The hell can I find out about her here anyway? Uh, 
don't know, but we're saving over the saves we just created. A dog? Man, it reeks of animals. Something's in there. You says the presence of animals on the other side of the door. That's it. Sorry, you're gonna tell me. No. Um. Whoa, shit! Those are some monster mutts. The hell's up with this place? Are you hungry? You're all dirty and covered in drool. They must have been starving. Back off! I'll beat your asses if you bite me. Don't like taking a beating, eh? You're good as dead, you filthy mongrels. If what? Ow! Rapidly hit the confirm key. Did I win? <laughs> hey, get out of the way, you dumb mutts. Ready for another round, eh? Uh, bring it. Stop! Stop! Oh, that makes me so sad! No! Oh my god. Oh man. Stupid pooch is wasting my time, plus those bites hurt like a bitch. Who uses a dog anyway? The guy on this floor definitely has a screw loose. But this floor is the very essence of Ray, or so he said. What in the hell is any of this supposed to tell me about Ray? Oh, something up ahead. This thing's in the way. What is it? What was it? Ooh. Um, toys. Toy boxes and toys everywhere. The mountain of tacky junk. It's a broken doll. Dolls, doll parts lie on the f on the floor. This flower smells really strong. Wait a sec, is this flower even real? Doll parts lie on the floor. Stuffed toys riddled with seams are lying on the floor. Okay, what about this one? Strangely enough, red liquid drips from the stuffed toys. Doll parts lie on the floor. There's a pile of seam riddled stuffed toys. Flower smell is so strong that it's making me sick. So this is locked too, huh? How do I open it? Damn it, I'm all about ID. Oh wait, even if I try to learn more about her, my head can't keep up. The placard! It does it need a placard? The box would open and this room makes no friggin' sense. Man, this place is more fucked up than my room. Wouldn't hurt to clean up every now and then. <gasps> Wait, what about the where the dogs came from, too? We didn't get to the search there. Damn, guess there's no choice but to look somewhere else. I gotta get back to that room and do something about that eyeball freak where... Before... Ray wakes up. <sighs> Wait, hold on. You have a plate. I can't use this here. Okay. I stepped on something again. Shit, another trap? Oh! What the fuck? For fuck's sake, what kind of house is this? The guy who turned to this floor needs his head examined. Am I gonna fall? Crap. One wrong move and the wood will give way. If I fall, then I'd probably be a goner. Damn it. You would do well to be more wary, Zack. Although I expected something like this would happen. Expected? Expect my knife in your belly. 
the hell are you doing here? Zack, that is so rude. I came here to save you. Why did you save me? Come now. What fun would it be if your story were to end here? That girl who paid no mind to my warning and threatened me with a knife? Rachel Gardner is with Danny, I presume. You were on a quest to take her back, were you not? So what? What do you want from me? Hmm. Zack, could it be that you have learned to feel emotions through all of this? What's so friggin' funny? Quit smiling. Wipe that smug look off your face. Huh. Forgive me. I didn't intend ridicule to ridicule you. Gosh, what the fuck is this English? Then, what the hell did you intend? I was merely intrigued as to what came over you. Huh? What do you mean, came over me? Why the hell is everyone here so damn cryptic? And you're the biggest question mark of the ball! Now what the hell do you mean? Hmm, very well, Zack. It appears sophisticated matters are not your strong suit. Allow me to explain. I hail from a land in the northern region. I'm just kidding. Ever since childhood, I have observed those devout to God. Some were beauteous, whilst others were blind and ugly. At times, people would exploit God as an instrument to condemn non-believers. Some the non-believers. <laughs> Comment down below if you know where that's from. And then, pretentiously flaunt God's imagery. I suppose it always weighed on my mind. What would God truly think if he saw these people? Or so I asked myself. Uh... What? <clears throat> Could you be civil and heed what I have to say? Though, Ernest, you lack such consideration. Sorry, I, I had to take off my glasses. <laughs> give me a second. Oh, give it a rest, will you? I told you to make it simple so I can get what you're talking about. Nothing you said makes any sense. An eyelash in my eye. Very well. In short, I wish to see things from the Lord's own eyes, by playing the role of God in this place. This building serves as a garden of sorts to put my idea to the test. Those placed on floor B7 are mere subjects to be monitored. So below his floor, below Zach's floor. An angelic intervention was required to test and exact justice on those brought here. Okay. Those who possessed no opposition to bloodshed were adept. Danny, Eddie, Kathy, and you, Zach. Mm hmm. Although, I suspected that you have qualities far removed from the others. Huh? You were exceedingly pure and nescient. I don't know what that means. An unadulterated murderer. Which is precisely why I intended to bring you here as one of my angels. Nonetheless, you have broken the rules here, thus making you a sacrifice as you are attempting to leave this place. So you do want to kill me, huh? I am still speaking! <clears throat> do not misunderstand me. It appears that you, who only desire to leave this place, are attempting to take Rachel Gardner with you, which I cannot allow. Therefore, I became curious as to why. 
so both of you have now become monitored subjects. He only wants her to go with him because he needs her brain to get out. It makes no fucking sense either way. Ah, oh, that is perfectly fine with me. I do not think you verbally capable of conveying your feelings any I do not think you are verbally capable of conveying oh my god. I am bad at English. I already know this. But this Besides, I am not done monitoring you yet. So we shall see what comes to pass. You say that you're watching everything? Seriously, Reverend? That was my original intent. Though, if that bothers you, I apologize. It's too late, and... <laughs> it's too late to apologize. What bullshit? What the hell is an apology gonna do for me? I understand completely. Oh, come to think of it, solving the puzzle imposed by Danny may be somewhat beyond your abilities. Shall I lend you some assistance? Huh? Seriously? You're gonna help me cheat? You're gonna give me the cheat codes? Well, idling time away is also a dull act, you see. Should you find yourself at odds, then come hither for my counsel. In exchange for my help, however, I w should like to keep watch over your actions. Fine, fine, fine. I don't care. I wish to see how you intend to leave this place. What you are preser persevering to become and who you really are. Fun. Oh, before that, Zack, answer me this. Riddle me this. How? How did you feel when Rachel Gardner called you God? Confused. Damn it, it never ends with these people. It creeped me out. Is that so? Hey, do me a favor. Yes. Stop talking to Riddles all the damn time. It's such a major pain in the ass to me. Every single one of you are just idiots to me. <laughs> Is that so? Okay, so we need we need him to look at this plate. Can't use this here. What? What's wrong? Nuts, no, nothing. Yeah, I need to. No, it's so fucking safe! Okay, talk. Hey. Yes? Don't yes me. What should I do? Because honestly, I don't get a clue anymore. Nothing but locked doors everywhere, but plus no keys. The only thing I got is just this plate. Zach, is that just an ordinary plate? Huh? I know there's writing on it. I can't read it. Names are written on it. Names? The nameplate. Tis meant to be hung on the door of its owner's room, Zack. Try hanging it somewhere that comes to mind. I guarantee you will get a response from it. Thank you. So I should just hang it wherever, huh? Yes, that too may prove fruitful. Know this, the name of a man and woman are inscribed upon it. Conceivably a couple in wedlock. Hell if I know. Okay. Alright, I want to see if I can actually... Set of animals, premier the air. Man, it reeks. No way I'm going in there. Cannot. Go upstairs. Okay. Uh, is there anything in here? Can I do anything with the fish? Candles, towel. No. Okay. okay. Now to do this again. It didn't give me the automatic save. Why? Oh, wait, there's cracks on the floor. You see that? 
That's weird, it doesn't do it now. Maybe because I have the priest. I know! I was trying to get to it. Do I hang this plate? Wrong door then. Okay. Guess the name that means this room doesn't match this plate. Okay. I guess it was really wanting me to go downstairs. I don't know. I I know game. You don't have to repeat yourself over and over again. I this is the episode 4 of this game. I know that if I need to use an item, I need to just go into the inventory and click set item. You don't have to tell me now. Oh yeah. The nameplate is hung on its room owner. Huh. Do I hang this plate here? Yes, I'm getting frustrated with the game. Leave me alone. It's open! Pay, pay dirt. If I push it with this, I can get in. Whose room is this? It's just a plain old room. What did you expect? It's a nice bed, though. A big goddamn bed. A rocking chair. It's empty. What is... Can I go this way? What the? Are these leaves made from fabric. That's cool. These leaves are fake, huh? Okay, this one? What the hell is this? A brush? Have you not seen a brush before, huh? A photo book? It's really messy and would probably be annoying to look through. It would probably tell him exactly what he's thinking, too. Small key was inside the box. Can I use this to open the, that box in the basement? Quiet small key. Oh. What the? What is that? What? It's on Christ! The ceiling is from- Oh! I gotta get out of here before I'm a pancake. Did I live? Did I die? What happened? <gasps> Give me a break. Stop fucking with me, house. Whoever's in charge of this floor needs a lobotomy. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, oh, shit. It won't open. What is this place to rate anyway? You probably could have found out if you looked through the photo book. Never mind. I got a key. At any rate, I guess I gotta keep going to find out more about her. Guess I'll head downstairs. Go downstairs. Doo -doo. Oh, I wasn't expecting him to just jump. Okay, you small key. It opened. So it plays music when it opens. It's a music box. It's all just a pile of goddamn junk, and all of it reeks of kids' playthings. Yes, and? There's something inside! What is it? Ah, another plate with writing inside is inside. Smaller than the one before, plus the writing's not as long. Quiet small plate. Feels like I've seen this writing before. Guess I'll get going. Oh, Amra, you're so cute. Look at my cute little girl. Alright, let's go. Nope, that's the wrong direction. What? Hey, do I use this plate the same as the one before? Ah, so you found the other one. Tis to be handled in the same manner as the one before it. Is that so? 
What troubles you? Are you curious about the inscription? If you wish to know, then I shall read it for you. <gasps> uh, never mind, don't read it. Are you not curious? Even if I was, I don't feel like having someone tell me. I see. I don't know, it just seems more like he's like running away from the truth of it all. You know what I mean? Go upstairs. Man, my ears are super itchy today. Yes, yes, yes. The nameplate, it, this is bound to be where I'm supposed to use it. I still don't know whose name this is, though. Oh, well. Just as long as it opens. Okay, it opened. It'll open if I push this. Just, just in case. I know I've seen this plate's writing somewhere before. That's right, the papers that fell out of Ray's bag. Ah, it might as well be in gibberish, I can't read it! I forgot that he had the papers. Hey, there's a photograph, so this must be Ray's... What's these numbers for? It says Ray is 13... And mine's 20. Oh, Zach's is like 8. So Ray is... Rachel Godna is 13 and Zach is 20. Is it our ages? Oh. <laughs> okay, so the spaces between the photographs are, and ages are our names. <gasps> is it? Does it have her name on it or something? The first letter in Ray's name matches the first letter on the plate. And the next letter also matches the next letter on the plate. And the next ones. They all match. So what's her name? <laughs> well, what do you know? I knew I'd seen them before. So that means this is Ray's room, huh? The hell is her room doing here anyway? Oh well. Never mind that, I'm curious about what's in store for me next. Given what's been going on so far in this house, I bet nothing good is waiting for me in her room. Well, there's no point in overthinking stuff. Guess I'll go a bit further down the rabbit hole. I can't say I'm not curious. It's like, can I save? Most definitely can. Okay, there's blood on the floor. Is this her room? It's very sparse. Sparse? Is that how you say that? Sparse? The floor is bright red. Is that normal? Or is that bat shit crazy? I've got no clue. It's a bed. Does this thing turn on? Turn on. <clears throat> Ugh. In state redacted, city redacted, the remains of Mr. and Mrs. Goddard were discovered at their private residence. Based on the blade inflicted slashes and bullet holes on the remains, the incident is being treated as a homicide. Found more than a week after death, the remains are badly mutilated, having been sewn together unnaturally with thread. The daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, Rachel Gardner, was safely taken into protective custody, however. Reports indicate that due to her exhibiting signs of trauma, she is currently being questioned about the incident.
this is Dr. Danny. So we're getting a sneak into her past. Rachel, why don't we have a bit of an in-depth talk for our session today? It's alright. There's nothing to fear. Huh, I got it. How about I talk about myself this time for a change? Aha! Uh -huh, you looked at me! Oh, I knew it. Your peepers are so beautiful. Well, um, to tell you the truth, one of my eyes is made of glass. I was born without an eye, you see. When I was a child, my mother worried herself sick about it. Just worried and worried, with such dark peepers. Dark and tranquil peepers. As her child, my silhouette in them was only fleeting. Even so, I still loved my mother. Her peepers were so precious. Rachel, did you hate your parents? Was that a yes? No. Well then, why do you think you cut and sewed them up? I wanted a family. I see. How did you come to feel this way? How? Good question. Is that it? Ah, <clears throat> uh, come to think of it, didn't you find a puppy in an alleyway near your house? It was tiny and cute, yet so fragile. I wanted to keep that puppy so bad. But I would get in trouble if I took it home. First I went home to tell them about the puppy. That's it? Oh, we are, we are Rachel. We are past Rachel, it looks like. Ha! Ah! Why do you always contradict me? Who oh, would listen to an alcoholic for a start? I was working, I was out working all day, and I hate being here at this house. <laughs> That's quite a mouth you got there. Who the hell has use for some wino cop like you? Oh, tell me another one, you bitch. Alcohol's less poisonous than the shit coming out of your mouth. You're hurting me! Stop! Stop it! I'm unhappy having wound up with a psychotic wife like you. No doubt because your very existence is a wretched one. Tell me, why are you so unhappy? Ah! You're the one that made me this way! It's your fault! All your fault! They're in the kitchen today. I wonder if they'll listen to me. Whew. Ah. Hmm. Where were you walking around so late? Not talking as usual, huh? Do you got half a brain in that head of yours? Um... Oh, so you got something to say to me? Hold it! Where do you think you're going with that money? 
booze, some whores? <laughs> Plenty on making me miserable again. Stop laughing. Get on my nerves. I'm off to buy my own happiness. Is that so? Then while you're out, can you buy my happiness too? Go buy some happiness for an unhappy wretch like me. Not only are you unhappy, but you also burn through all the money. Oh my god, this is like hitting home for me. Some kind of mental case that can't even make ends meet. Oh, it's always my fault, is it? You always blame me. Ah, You foul bastard, your filthy hands have stolen even my own life. Your brain, body, and attitude are all soaked in booze. Hey, Dad, um... Ugh, everything about this family is miserable. I gotta have booze to cope. Don't run away from the hell you created! It's you. You are the one screwing me up. Screwing this family up! It's not my fault, it's all yours! <sighs> oh. Oh, you're hurting me! You good for nothing! Shut the fuck up, you crazy bitch! Marrying you is the worst thing that ever happened to me! I don't want to hit anyone, but you're asking for it. A creepy bitch who can't understand what this crazy bitch is thinking. My life's hit rock bottom because of, because both of you fucked it up. Mom. One day. Oh, one day I will kill him. I gotta make them listen. Okay. Nobody's in the kitchen. Oh, there's a crack on the floor. Let's go see Mother first. I'll shoot him. If something happens to me, I'll fight back with this. I'll use this to kill that bastard. I'll show him. Now I've got a secret weapon hidden here. When the time comes, that bastard will blubber like a baby. He'll regret everything. He'll bow down and tell me I was right all along. And it, ha it didn't have to be this way. This happened because of him. Mom. Ray, what is it? Mom, I gotta talk to you about something. Mom, I can't deal with you right now, honey. The kitchen is a dreadful mess. I gotta clean it up. I'm not in a state to be listening to whatever you have to say. Please listen. You'll get mad if I don't ask for permission first, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Amazing! Even my own daughter won't do what she's told! Don't you know? You, your being here has gotten me stuck in this hell. Your very existence is detestable. It's like I'm dealing with your worthless father. It makes me sick to my stomach. Now go upstairs to your room. Mom, if I listen to you, then will you listen to me? Go! Now! Don't make me any more of a miserable and cruel mother than I already am! Nobody's listening to what... Anybody has to sit. Why is that? Mom was hiding something over there. Her secret weapon to make herself heard. I'm I'm curious. I want to know what happens if we go out and 
uh, see the dad first. There's no reason to leave. Your dad left! Also, where does she expect us to go? There's nowhere to go. Okay. Nope. Just... Oh! There are stairs here. I'll just get in trouble <laughs> if I go back. Okay. Ooh. A handgun! So something like this was here. Secret weapon. In, in the end, nobody listened to what I had to say. And then a while later, I went to go visit that puppy. The puppy was already weak, likely to fall over dead any moment. When I reached out to pet the pup, that puppy, it bit me. After that, everything until I got home is hazy. When I came to, I was in my room, fixing that puppy. But I was soon found out. Gosh, Mom and Dad were fighting really loud that day. What a good boy. Such a good boy. I could just eat you up. I want you to stay with me forever. It's okay. Don't be scared. It's all your fault. There's something wrong with her because you're crazy. No, it's your fault that kid's abnormal. Uh, I can't stand this anymore. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Oh, shit. Gosh, it's really bad today. The kitchen. Guess I'll take a peek. See, in this kind of a situation, you, you are in a relationship like that, like... You should just leave. Where's the door? The exit. Is it? Is this the exit? Yes. Huh. There's an added basement for... Parents' bedroom is locked. In the other house. What happens... If we go in here first? Handgun is still inside. Okay. Never mind. Is that blood on the floor? There's no reason to leave. Well, fuck me. What is that? Do nothing. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Keep going. <clears throat> I vividly remember what I saw there. The father just stabbing the mother. What are you doing? So you saw that, huh? Didn't you? I never had a use for her all along. Everything here just makes me miserable. Oh, so the kitchen is the same, it's just how we get there is different. Sort of, I guess. That's why you too must die. Oh, how awful. Simply awful. Oh, the puppy. I gotta get to my room. 
I'm not moving, by the way. Couldn't think of it. Mom was hiding a gun. For this moment? In that case, it's okay for me to take it then. Okay, so we still have the blood that explains the blood stain in her room. It's loaded. Oh. Acquired handgun. I gotta hurry to my room. Do you? What happens if we go back? I can't go back yet. Well, fine. Go to your parents' room. That's right. It's safe. What do you think would happen to it? It's dead. Don't be afraid. Something is actually wrong with her. There's no need to worry. I mean, I really have no choice here. Do you think your father's crazy, Ray? Yes. But Ray, you're just as crazy as me. Running to your room and talking to that thing! Something's not right with you. Why don't you open that box? Mm -hmm. Ah, just as I thought. You're insane! What the hell did you do to that dog? It's a patchwork corpse. That dog. You killed it, didn't you? Did stitching up its belly and sewing its mouth shut feel good? She's so sewn its mouth shut? No. It just became mine. It became my perfect puppy. Hey, Dad. Become my. Become my perfect daddy. Wow, her face. That's, that explains the blood. It's alright. I'll fix you. But she's also very, very small. And so she had to cut him up. Afterwards, I sewed mom and dad to each other. I did it so they'd get along with each other. Then I replaced dad's bad arm with the stuffed toys. I sewed mom's mouth so she made a big smile. That was my perfect dad and mom. All three of us played all day, every day with our puppy. Oh, oh it was so much fun. So when the police took them all away from me, I was so sad. I see what you mean. I understand your sadness, Rachel. Can I ask you one more thing? After that, a little animal died at the orphanage that you took in. Do you know why? Did you do that too? Yeah. Hey, so why did you feel the need to stitch it up too? I heard you absolutely adored that pup. I did adore him. That's right, I really loved him. But it wasn't meant to be. Was it meant to be? Yeah, there was something I wanted. I wanted something for my family. Something to call, to call my own. But for some reason, things never played out like they should. Never play out like they should, huh? So, Rachel, you want something to call your own. You want more things to call your own, do you? Rachel. 
Rachel. My mother took her own life. My eye is what killed her. What? Your peepers bear a striking resemblance to the ones I last saw of my mother's. Dark, tranquil, and most of all, beautiful. I'm in love with your peepers. Well, that's just weird. I hope the dark glow in them sparkles for eternity. A steadfast glow that will grant all your wishes in the world. Right, Rachel? Even back then, that I thought was crazy! Very long-winded story. Did he just break the TV? Yes. Yes, he did. That's fucking sickening. The hell are you showing this for? Showing me this for? I know how to read. Is this supposed to tell me something about Ray? What? Are you serious, boy? The handgun, needle thread, and the corpse stall in that one room. Rachel Gardner. Ray. So this is her floor, huh? Which means the killer here is. Guess I'll get going. If that eyeball freak still doesn't let me into that room, then he's got another thing coming. Can I move? I can. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whew, the, a lot, a lot has happened. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this part here. And then we'll continue on in the next one. And hopefully we'll see what's going on with Ray and Dr. Danny. But thank you guys for joining me for this part. Um, if you liked the video, like the video. Leave the co a comment down below about this part of episode 4. And what you think about finding out that this is Rachel's floor. Um... Yeah. <laughs> if you want to see more videos that I've done, hit the notification button. Well, sorry, subscribe and hit the notification button. You know, all that jazz. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!